Hey, hey, beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's another wonderful time. This is uh, Africa Stalking Podcasts. Africa Stalking provides communication solutions, cutting across organizations, individuals, government, NGOs, providing USSD APIs, SMS APIs, airtime APIs, and data bundles APIs. And uh, we serve across African continents. And today is a beautiful day, beautiful day. We're joined by one and only Sandra Chola, who is a lawyer, creative and public intellectual with an interest in leadership, governance, and strategic communication. She has ten, uh, she has years of experience working in political and civil society institutions and has also served in the Kenyan government as a presidential speechwriter and a chief of staff. Sandra is also a 2018 Obama Foundation leader and has been voted by her peers as one of the most influential young Africans. She loves cats and enjoys watching cartoons and documentaries in her free time. According to statistics from International Parliamentary Union, the average age of MP from the 2017 to 2022 parliament is 50.73 years. Yet, the median age of the population as per the Kenyan census 2019 is 20.1 years. This does not argue well for the robust democracy of tomorrow, as envisaged by the writers of the Kenyan constitution. But do we have any civic education happening among the youth? How do we get them positively interested in politics? It's not easy to exercise your civil liberties when you do not know what your rights are. As Kenyan citizens, our rights and safeguards are enshrined in the COK, which is Constitution of Kenya 2010 document, which is available in the public domain. However, most of it is shrouded in legalese that can elude a basic reader. So where does that leave the pre-adults who also have rights? How many adults are willing to sit with these young citizens and bring down the constitution to them for the sake of the future of Kenya's well-being, in general and democracy in particular? Sandra Ochola has done just that in this second edition of Teens Guide to the Constitution of Kenya, picking specific areas of focus and explaining this in the form of probing questions and food for thought, which lead the reader on in arriving at the right answers in a memorable manner. As a guide, this edition covers all 18 chapters, including the fundamental pillars such as the Bill of Rights, Land and Environment, as well as the Leadership and Integrity. The best part about the guide is, is its captivating structure as a workbook with activities that will definitely help teens to not only understand the constitution, but also easily commit its important part to memory. Sandra has struck a blow for constitutionalism and also done justice the elusive civic education for pre-adults and you. Now, that's interesting, Sandra. And uh, as uh, because we discussed this further uh, about this wonderful book, uh, Teen's Guide to the Constitution of Kenya, mm-hmm. second edition, which actually just came few days came out a few days ago. Yes. And I have a copy here, and this is so uh, dear to my heart, and I'll tell you why later. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I feel like we need more of Sandra's in this ecosystem uh, because law determines all other pillars of any country such as economic, uh, social, political and uh, economical uh, pillars that support our whole country. But before that, we would like to know who is Sandra because uh, I realize that us as Africans are uh, telling all these other things don't matter if you don't know who we are, right? Yeah. So tell us, who is Sandra? Uh, Sandra Ochola, uh, a sister, a daughter, a friend, a mother, uh, born, bred, schooled, 
most of my life I spent it in Kisumu County. Ah, nice. Yes. Mm, the land of Obama. Yeah, the land <laughs> of Obama. Yes, yeah. the land of Obama. Mm. The Lakeside, the Lakeside nice. city. Nice. Yeah. Then I uh, went to the Kenya School of Law, mm. uh, law school rather, in mm. Moy University in Loret, mm. and then made my debut to the city, mm. uh, the Kenya School of Law, mm. where I got my post uh, graduate uh, diploma in law. Mm -hmm. That's after my university in law degree, then my post graduate diploma in law. Yes, yes. And after that, did uh, masters in international studies at the University of Nairobi. Mm. And then uh, started walking around with my CV, knocking doors, mm. looking for looking for placements and places where I could add value. Yes, yes. And uh, that got me to the civil society space. Yes. Uh, because as I always say, uh, the perception often is if you're a lawyer, then uh, you need to be practicing. Mm. But that wasn't for me. I think I learned a long time ago that. Uh, the court corridors what are going to do it for me um, so i went immediately to civil society and uh, my initial encounters was with the um, uh, center for transitional justice international um, center for transitional justice which was dealing with issues of um, uh, transitional justice at that time um, what is to, transitional justice? It's, it's justice just in to put it in a simplified manner um, it's justice during a transition Oh, okay. Conflict and post. Uh, this is uh, 2007? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, Sandra, here we don't tell Makonde stories. Where you, like, <laughs> I was born on Monday, you know, Tuesday, by Friday, dead and by. Yes. Right? So, what do you say? You're I just wanted to, to know, like, yes, you're born in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. You know, you maybe you spent how many years there? How was it? You know, wow. maybe there is someone, uh, there's another Sandra in Kisumu yeah. who. You might borrow a leaf or two or learn from your experiences there and you yeah. know and be encouraged by it to, to seek the right path wow mm. wow mm. What, what did i say it's that's home kisumu mm. for me kisumu for me kisumu is, dal. yeah kisumu dal, like kisumu mm. for me is home mm. born bred uh lived there most of my life that's mm. where you went to primary school there primary school there Which yes primary school? i started out in victoria primary school okay is, then, is it still there Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it's still there. Yeah. And then for a period in class five, mm -hmm. I went to I went to boarding school. Mm -hmm. It was in Molo, Molo Academy. I mm -hmm. think that was the first time in my life that I just I just left Kisum. I'd left Kisum and I'd left home. Yeah. It was very traumatizing. Mm -hmm. Then I spent that year. I think I don't know why, but then I feel maybe my parents thought that I couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. And so now they took me and brought me back home. Mm -hmm. And then I went to now Zaverian. Mm -hmm. I finished in I finished primary in Zaverian. Mm -hmm. uh, in Zaverian primary. All of them that are still there. In Kisumu. In Kisumu. Okay. In Kisumu. Yeah. So I, I, those were, and, they, and, they were really, and they were great schools at that time, uh -huh. and they still are. Uh -huh. So how was your childhood? Did you used to walk to school? Were you came when you got late? Of course. Uh, you know, you, you know. <laughs> if know, you know, your, your children might listen and they're like, okay, my oh, mom. Gosh. You know, this is my mom and I understand. Yeah. This is why she thinks this way, you know, and that kind of stuff. If you lived during that time, that was very really, corporal punishment yeah. was uh, was was the thing. And I remember yeah. the getting late part. Of course, we became and we used to leave. We used to wake up very early mm -hmm. because uh, you go to school very early in the morning, like five, six. So let's seven. put it at let's put it at six thirty because we weren't living so far from the school okay. either way. Okay. So around six, and then you are uh, in school in school at what time? By seven forty-five, oh. because then you go for the assemblies and then you start. And that one now depends on which grade you are in. Mm. The higher grades, of course, now it's more, more demanding. Mm. So you have to go for the morning prep. You have classes in the morning, and then you stay out late for the for the evening prep. Mm -hmm. And so you go to school in the morning, and. Uh, you go back home for lunch, mm -hmm. and then you come back again after lunch, and mm -hmm. then you go back in the evening. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I'm, I'm wondering now how we had such energy. Maybe mm -hmm. because we were younger, then mm -hmm. it's 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 easier to it's easier to do so much <laughs> within, <laughs> within one day. I still have time to play. And I remember, I remember my mom used to tell me now later, mm -hmm. although I, I, I don't have uh, a lot of memory mm -hmm. of that, the mm -hmm. way I used to disappear. Mm -hmm. And then she'd, she'd really 
in the evening or during lunch? In the evening, mostly, okay. because lunch now I know I have to rush home okay. and then come back to school. Exactly. So that I was, and I have to eat, and I have to eat, and then I don't want to get late again for okay. the afternoon. But now in the evening, mm. there was this sense of uh, relaxation. Oh, you want to play with that? Like yes. Yeah. So you know, at the back of my head, I don't know, at the back of my mind, we are we are from school. Mm. Perhaps we take a longer route, mm. and then exploring, I go visit, yeah. exploring, and then I go visit <laughs> one friend first, and yeah. then I'm just like, I see, I get home anyway. Ah. So what's What's yeah. the hassle? But then yeah. it's getting dark. Mm -hmm. My mom is worried. Mm -hmm. Everyone out. Uh, she's already uh, set out a search party. Hello. You know. Mm -hmm. So, she, uh, but do I remember one incident? I'm going to visit a family friend. Mm -hmm. We used to go to the same school, so I'm going mm -hmm. to visit her, mm -hmm. and we just stayed. We were just playing mm -hmm. until I saw my mom and my aunt appearing and they were so upset and mm. I couldn't understand why they were upset mm. at, that, at that tender age. But then now being a mother, mm -hmm. because I have a daughter who's uh, turning 14 in October, yes. now I get to understand because she's mm. more or less doing the same thing okay. where she was she spent, <laughs> <laughs> After school she still wants to spend time with her friends and there I am so worried, uh -huh. you know. Yeah. Sometimes the bus has left and it has left without her because now they couldn't wait for her. And now they have been a bus. Yeah, oh yeah. You guys use a footstool. You know, and it's such a short distance. But then it's just almost unacceptable uh, to have her walking that way. So I think yeah. those are the privileges of one generation to yeah. the other. I think their past generations I didn't even get to go to school. So mm -hmm. it's I don't know what the next generations will be. Yeah, yeah maybe. Or maybe it will be the homeschooling mm -hmm. where you don't have to go to the to the institutions. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of change. So that was my childhood. Generally, I I'd say it was fun. It mm -hmm. was normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I grew up with both parents mm -hmm. uh, who were thankfully who are still who are still alive. Mm -hmm. uh, very Christian and church oriented. Nice, yeah. Yes, and I think that has also impacted a lot on uh, life today, yes. and even how I raise my own child and mm -hmm. run and run my own home. Mm -hmm. And there are also individuals who are keen on education and keen on excellence, yeah. and so that is one thing that they imparted in me mm -hmm. and my siblings mm -hmm. and speaking of siblings i am a first one okay i have uh, three other siblings oh, nice. a brother okay. and two sisters all mm -hmm. adults now yes. and living their lives mm -hmm. in various parts of the world mm -hmm. and various parts of the city yes. so i'd say i've seen i've seen I don't want to say comfort, mm. but grace, mm. if I could say that. Mm. Grace in the sense that um, uh, a family being intact, mm. uh, most of them being alive, most yes. of them being healthy, and yes. we're together and we have a good relationship, yes. and each of us are pursuing what they need to pursue mm. to maximize their potential. Mm. Now, Sandra, speak. that's a very, very powerful point you have you've said there. I, I, I know a couple of siblings who don't see eye to eye. Exactly. What, 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 what is it that keeps siblings together you are thankful for like you know yeah. you can reach out you can talk you can chat it's it it i think it, it's also it has a lot to do with uh, one the parents uh, now yeah. they are upbringing the, yeah, they are the upbringing and the kind of environment yeah. and the kind of environment they yeah. set yeah. where they ensure or encourage mm. uh, siblings to work together, mm. to play together, to be together. Yeah. And they're not practicing any forms of discrimination or yeah. showing open favoritism yeah. in a manner that's going to pit one child yeah. against the other. And then also accepting children mm. for who they are and what they are, mm. which you find in certain instances because a, a parent would like you to be a doctor and you don't turn out to be a doctor. Mm. And then that becomes, that becomes an issue. They begin to compare you uh, with another sibling. Mm. Not, not that I'm saying that uh, uh, that mine were perfect, mm. but uh, from experience, mm. it's uh, uh, some of the highlights that, or some of the things are picked mm. that get uh, families and siblings yes. not uh, not working together. Yes. I think it's it's been creating that foundation mm. right from the time when uh, they are young, mm -hmm. or your your family is young, yeah. and just making it a thing. Yes. If I could use that word, yes. that as a family we work together, mm. as a family we pray together, as a family we eat together, nice. and then mm. moving forward, then uh, you, you carry on those values. Mm. And then now in adulthood, mm -hmm. again now it 
uh, what causes divisions now perhaps are issues finances mm. issues career issues uh, people's personalities mm-hmm. and how you resolve conflicts yeah, okay. within the family yeah yeah that's very nice so you guys never had conflict you know someone we, just ate all, all the food and no you know everyone else didn't get their food or something or maybe people fighting Of course of mm, course those mm, are there but mm. not to an extent not to an extent where not to an extent where we don't talk mm-hmm. you know mm. uh, being being a firstborn for instance yeah. i feel and i say this with my brother who's mm. my second so it fall back yeah i feel for instance my parents were more strict mm. with me mm. and my brother than mm. uh, than they were with the last one yeah. for instance <laughs> our <life. laughs> For instance, as usual <laughs> you know our last one could go for sleepovers yes that was unheard of yes. by six when the sun is setting like she should already be in the house what yeah. are you doing <laughs> failure failure to get home by that time yes. it meant proper beating ah yeah so then yeah. now i mean with my sister it was it, it's all, it, yeah it relaxed was, you know. <laughs> <Don't go. laughs> yeah i mean uh, that makes a lot of sense yeah. so um Yeah, you were in primary school you graduate right so did you perform well i did try mm. i there was a pattern mm. if i'd say so okay where my teachers both in primary and most of my academic life kept on pressing and mm. telling oh, sandra you can do better you mm. can do better mm. there's room for improvement there's room for, impro- <laughs> 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 there's room for improvement yeah. or not and yeah. they kept on telling me that i'm not serious yeah. and, you know <laughs> things like that but yeah. i think i did well yes and uh, uh, i was content yes largely content yes. no deep down even for me i know i've done well but mm. i needed to play i needed to oh you needed friends. a balanced life yes i needed a balanced life <laughs> <laughs> 50%, 50% this 50%, 50% that. i mean yeah. i was still going to pass anyways <laughs> yeah. so oh you knew you were good yes oh, i was I still see. going to pass anyways it's just mm. We didn't agree on the levels of passing. Mm. So, yeah. So what you did was enough. Well, <laughs> <laughs> At that time, yes. I'm curious to ask how, how did you perform? Well, yeah. by that time we had we had it was being marked over 700. Mm. I, I think remember I got, that, yeah. Yeah, mm. I got I got about a 466. Oh, you're good. Yeah, you're good. A 466. Yeah. So then now they kept saying, "Had you put in more effort?" Ah, I see. That's but almost like, a name. That was actually. effort enough because so, I needed a social life. That's a B plus A. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. So you 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 get now to high school. Yes. And now you you still living a balanced life. Living a balanced life. <laughs> Which games did you participate in? I loved I loved um I represented my high school in um short races. Mm. 100 100 meter races. Are you that fast? I am that fast. Oh, I, still, nice. I can still run actually. Nice. For those who can't see us, Sandra is quite fit. <laughs> uh, but you'll see it later. So yeah. this will be published on our channels. So you yeah. will see it. Yeah. She's I, quite fit. Yeah. Yeah. I, could, I can still run so well. Mm. So then that was, it was uh, districts, but then the, the school competitions. Mm. So it was districts and then uh, we went to the provincials. Mm. So then provincials, I met... Uh, other ladies from Kisi County mm. who apparently are quite quite fast mm. and they were very, very fast mm. and then it's during that same period that we had science congress mm. so then the science teacher tells me mm. uh, that I should stop uh, I should not stop but pull out from the uh, sports mm. the sports competitions mm-hmm. so that we work on a project for science congress okay I didn't see much in it anyways because mm. at the back of my head I figured ah maybe those kissy girls are still going to defeat me. Yeah, so what's the yeah, point of going? Yeah. yeah. Going Which school it? was this by the way? It was Ombogo in oh, Homa Bay County. Homa Bay. Yeah, Homa Bay. Okay. B. Initially I was in Ulanda. Uh. It's still Nyanza. Uh. Then I went to um, I, I finished up in Ombogo. What, what so made then, you change? Well, I just needed a change. Yeah. You just sat down yes. like this is not so balanced. <laughs> <laughs> <And it's, laughs> what <laughs> What is that trigger? <laughs> this is this is not so yeah. this is not so balanced at that particular uh, point and yeah. then I think at 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 um, there were certain changes at home as well mm. which required me to be closer. I felt okay. for instance I felt it was so far away. Ah. Oh, so. And it's like two hours drive, right? Uh, no, it's 
Homa Bay to Kisumu? Not, yeah, the Homa Bay one is was closer. I mean, okay. it's an hour. Oanda, where is it? Uh, Ulanda. Ulanda, where yeah. is it? Ulanda, it's a uh, Wendo. Ah, that's Igori. more yeah, far away. Yeah, it was away. further. It was so further away. I uh. felt it was stressful. Okay. Uh, that was it like four point. hours drive or three hours? Yeah, it was like half a day. Uh, say. What? But not half a day strictly. Uh. But let's just put it like twelve hours. Far, and I did not like how far it was. Wait a minute. <laughs> From Migori to Kisumu is twelve hours. hours. No, it's not. Uh. I'm saying it was. It just felt far, like almost, <laughs> <laughs> like almost half a day far. <laughs> I was yeah. like, okay, I need to know where Migori yeah. is. Because now in my head, 12 hours is a long, it's a long, long distance. Time, yeah? yeah, so um, you, you you went to Science Congress. How yes. do you find sciences? I liked it. Mm. Our project moved from uh, uh, district levels. Mm. It went to provincials. Then we even got to the nationals. I think mm. we were top three. Can you remember what project I do was? remember. It was something to do with the agriculture and conservation and energy. Oh. So you have um, uh, how to be efficient. Mm. So you have a chicken house, mm-hmm. if that's the word. Mm-hmm. Then uh, you have your planting, the, your planting kills mm-hmm. or vegetables beneath chicken shed. Mm-hmm. So then you're not buying fertilizer mm-hmm. for the uh, for the kills. Kills. Mm-hmm. Instead, you're using the chicken droppings. Mm-hmm. And then you, you also, there was also a way that you're, you're, you're meant to utilize the water. Mm. So I think it was about being efficient within efficient farming. Efficient farming mm-hmm. at that particular point. Mm. And we did really well. We got our trophies all through. Mm. Which year was this? Oh my God. Mm. Uh, 1998. And by the way, it's good you have brought up about uh, science congress because even today they, they they still happen, and there are so many potential projects that actually are presented, yeah. well packaged. But follow up is uh, yeah. once you get the national trophy, that's it. Yeah. That's- so I think also now that you know science is you know taking over the world and tech, uh, it's about time maybe now that you are in a, in a position of power, we'll see how. <laughs> These are some of the ideas actually that can bring in more revenue, can bring in yeah. more job opportunities, can bring in, uh, you know, even employment. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, it's true. true. Mm. But actually, mm. I think so mm. as well. Mm. And even uh, now work-wise, mm. because I found myself uh, engaging with sports a lot. Mm. And oh, After Science Congress, you went back to sports? Well, after Science Congress, I was... This games captain. Okay. So I still did. I still did uh, sports. Okay. Lots of sports. Was it a girls' schools? Yes, it was a okay. girls' school. Okay. It was a girls' school. And then, of course, after mm. that, then it's fourth form, and mm. there's in so many activities You're supposed to eat, read, read, yeah. read, 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 nothing. Yeah. Eat, breathe. Yeah. Everything. Yes. Books. So that ended like that. Though later on, mm. I always tell myself. Uh, with those, all those opportunities, the mm. opportunities in just like. It's, you stated mm. opportunities in sports mm. if how many young people can be nurtured in sports with true for instance we didn't we don't have many sprinters yeah female sprinters we are most recently developing yeah back back in the day there were so day. many women yeah. and even now is when we are developing our own brand mm. of short races yes So if that can be nurtured at, yes, a, at yes. a very young age, yeah. because I believe I was good at it. There is so much opportunity. Yeah, there's so much opportunity. Mm. So that, because the perception then one, it's just something to be done mm. in in high school. Yeah. And uh, to pass time. Yeah. But it's not something that you can see as a profession. Board. True. So then that's sports. And then now the science congress that you've talked about. Yes. If that was nurtured as well, maybe I could add it. Mm. Nature. Mm. But then mm. things happen for... A reason. A reason. Uh. And they happen for why they happen. So Sounds perhaps good, had I yeah. pursued that, then uh. we couldn't be having this discussion. Ah, so oh, you never know. You never know. <laughs> because uh, my, my, my key is to also bring people like Kipchoge. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, some of these people, uh, their story is not told enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even when we see them run all the races, we don't know maybe the backstory, mm-hmm. how much they have worked to be the best in the world, yeah. break their own records. So we need to tell our African stories more and more, right? Exactly. And uh, I'm proud to say that uh, it's good that Africa's talking is empowering us to to do this. 
uh, and uh, impact masters, of course. But we need to put our stories out there. If by the way you think about the whole world, African stories are less told. And you know, if you don't tell your story, someone else will, and definitely they won't tell the real exactly story. Exactly how you yeah. want yeah. it told. Yeah. So uh, you went to Science Congress. Um, you won up to the nationals. Uh, did you perform well uh, during all that time? Uh, Science Congress. No, no, in, the school. school. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm. But it was still a very balanced life. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love, love that one. I love balance. It was balance still, like, life, it was still yeah. a very mm. balanced life. Mm. I loved my favorite subject then mm. was uh, biology. Mm. It was biology, and mm. I was a straight A biology student. Ah, nice. I loved it in so high much. school biology. In high school biology. Uh, why did you love it? I don't know. It's I can't explain it. It was easier for you to like understand. Understand. It, it was. It it was just something that I something that I. And it was more practical, you'd say? It was, yes, practical. Uh, It's just something I liked. And I I eventually did get an A Mm, in mm. it in KC. Mm. KCSC. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, You compare that with math. Mm. Math was just something. Mm. Math math and physics. Uh. Chemistry, I did try. I Uh loved the... Uh, practicals. Mm, the colors. Yeah, the colors where I could mix things and all that. <laughs> the little but then now you ask me, you know, <laughs> and then, but then you ask me about uh, the formulas, the uh, way they used to calculate H2O with those two uh, small, small numbers besides the letters. Uh, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why? The chemical bond. You know? May someone call it uh, a web. Oh. Uh, yes, you know the, ke- the chemical bond. Oh, yes, those, uh, oh, yeah, those, is table. those webs. I'm like, okay, those are not webs. Those are chemical bonds. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, nevertheless. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And so, then you, you had yeah. to you, you had to master mm. this table. Mm. It was just periodic stressful. table. Yeah? Mm. So I didn't. I I I enjoyed literature mm. a lot. Mm. I enjoyed biology mm. a lot. Mm. I enjoyed reading Swahili the set books mm. and history. Mm. history. By the way, when someone guys, when someone says I enjoyed something in uh, in Luoland, that means straight A's. Yes. For your information. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But do we say? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that's good. Yeah. So you 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 perform well according to what you say. Besides now the physics and uh, yeah. math. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, the physics. I think I dropped it mentally in form two. So you didn't take it as an option. I, or no, something. I didn't. Oh, okay. no. Didn't take it as But an you option. have no option with math. Yeah, no, I, no math. I just have to continue. And for some reason, I could do math in class so well. Mm-hmm. You know the one where the teacher does on the board and then mm. you're told to. Do. But then it gets to the exam, and I just do not know what happened. It's just <laughs> they brought a different math <laughs> during I'm exams. Like, This is not what we learned hey, in class. So hey. it, I, I accepted my fate. I see. Yeah. Mm. So if, during that period, mm. I still didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. But then I mm. knew I wanted to do something. In relation to biology, okay, and I wanted to be a marine biologist, mm. and I had a very supportive uh, biology teacher, mm-hmm. and he'd go out of his way, you know, in bringing papers and mm. you know, uh, uh, sitting down with students to mm. you know uh, do the extra lessons and the extra curricula, mm. and it was really nice. Mm. So I think that uh, that enhanced even our interest yeah. in, in in the subject at mm-hmm. particular time. Yeah. So then, given that when you're having those conversations with people, I remember I can't remember who it was. Really. It's 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 a while back. But mm. then someone mentioned to me about marine biology. I then was meant to ask, what is marine? But uh, yeah. is it like the guys who we see in National Geographic exactly. diving in, studying uh, the life beneath the mm. ocean? That's that's the marine yeah. biology. Okay. So it's biology. Uh, do you love the sea? Ah, uh, the Mama. iron the ironies of life. Oh, I see. Yeah, the ironies of life. I yeah. ended up not. You and water. Yeah, I ended uh, up not <laughs> liking water so much. <laughs> not swim? liking water so much. I do swim. Okay. I do swim, but I ended mm. up not liking water so much. Mm. And uh, looking back, I realized I only wanted to do bio- marine biology then because mm. my love for biology it was it sounded and mm. felt like a natural a progression. Yeah. And also because it was studied in Mombasa, mm. that meant it was very far away from. Home. Okay, you never wanted to stay so, far away from <laughs> why? So, so then yeah. I'd live a more balanced life. Okay. At that point. Okay. So it was it, it sounded like a good mix. Okay, <laughs> I see. I see what you did there. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
So yeah. that that was what sounded as a choice then. Mm-hmm. But either way, mm-hmm. we did the exams. Yeah. Then um, now it's time to head college. Mm-hmm.